Good morning. Welcome to the program. Please, sir, take it off from there. I'm sure you can hear me. Okay, um, so I mean, it was quite an unexpected you know, development we saw in um, last week. Um, first, on Wednesday, the CBN came out to say, um, um, I mean, corporates, local corporates could not participate you know, in, in the homo market, both the primary uh, uh, market and the secondary market. Later on, um, on Thursday, they issued a clarification that um, among the local corporates are non bank financial institutions, you know, which includes um, insurance companies, uh, um, pension companies, and so forth. And and so on, rather. So um, the reaction has basically, um, the mood has rather been silent. On Wednesday, um, market players were expecting you know, a bit of clarity on what the CBN was really trying to do. And on Thursday, we had you know, a bit more clarity, but trading was um, actually, qu actually calm. So this week, we believe um, over the weekend, um, um, non bank financials as well as individuals will have digested the news. And we should see a bit of um, um, the implications of um, the, the circular play out in the market um, this week. For us, we think you know the prevention of um, non-bank financials uh, institutions as well as individuals from accessing this market. It's not good for them because you know um, um, a lot of um, investors. Um, there's really not that much opportunity to um, put liquidity into in, in the market currently. Equities is not doing very very well in terms of um, government bonds and TBUs. Um, the supply of this have been actually been limited because of the recent um, federal government strategy to um, issue more external debt rather than local debt. So the reaction we believe will be that um, you tend to see uh, more local corporates going into um, TBUs, buying more TBUs, buying more bonds, and the implication will be you know, a broad-based uh, um, reduction in yields across the board. So for non-bank financial institutions and for individuals um, um, with portfolios, it might not be a good look for their books. Yes, uh, Adedayo, what's the central bank trying to achieve here? Uh, if you look at the open market operations, basically, the central bank says this is a pure monetary policy uh, tool for liquidity management and should stay that way. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. That is the way it is designed to be. But since 2016, we've seen, you know, um, a bit unconventional methods to um, what the CBN is trying to do. So naturally, it's, you know, a liquidity management tool, which should be to actually, uh, um, in terms of Naira liquidity, but what we've seen is usually, you know, it's restricted to uh, more of banks mainly rather than individuals. But what we've seen over um, the past three years is that we've seen a very high participation from, from individuals. We've seen very high participation from foreign investors, which, you know, the strategy of the CBN is actually to use OMO uh, um, securities to attract foreign investment, um, build up reserves, and to, you know, preserve the stability of the Naira. So basically, the strategy is still in terms of, you know, in terms of attracting foreign portfolio flows into the country. I think that is intact. What the CBN is trying to do now currently is because, you know, they've had um, a lot of um, issuances over the past few years, and that is actually um, affecting the books of the CBN. So in terms of the interest expense, it is costing the bank a lot to actually keep um, issuing these securities and having to roll over yeah. the securities. So what we're seeing now is that um, by reducing the participation from local corporates, you have um, more more of them going into TBs, more of them going into the, into bonds. So that should drive you to lower, you know, for governments okay. and for corporates uh, and other, uh, other issues in that segment. But they'll be able to retain for foreign portfolio flows from foreign investors. Adelaide Bakari from Afrinvest. Thank you so much, an investment analyst. Have a great week ahead.